Welcome back to a reusable space program. This is episode seven. Today is all about docking. Please join us. Right, so we're going to take our Voyager craft, well, actually the X4, we're going to modify them. Um, because today is all about docking. We are going to dock two craft. We have a mission to do this, to dock two craft in orbit. I'll remind you. Not only do we have to dock them, we have to be able to bring them back down safely. So we can't use anything odd to try and do this. We can't just use a, a random target up there. I'm going to have to use two manned craft because I want to bring them back down. I don't have the technology to do it otherwise. So we're going to put together Friendship 1. Yes, that's right. Not Friendship 7. Not like the Mercury 7. Friendship 1. We're going to put some uh, RCS systems in there so that the, uh, the multiple cores there are actually going to be for us... Um, rotating the craft and then we've put our thrusters on the sides there to give us sort of um, the ability to move sort of forward backwards left right all that sort of stuff we're going to put a docking port on there and, uh, and we, we're sort of ready to go with that we reattach our launch stage I'm not sure we're going to need all of this um, and off we go so first up is Sean Sean is going to be first into orbit he's been back from the moon or moon he's, he's you know he's a hero he's, he's, he's had his parade you know, well, semi-parade. No one really cares about the space program in this curb and they've all, you know, I think the idea of reusing some of the old technology and stuff is a bit silly. They've given up on space. It's quite sad, really. But he, he had a little parade of four or five people, i.e. the people that built the rocket. And, um, yeah, so he's, he's feeling quite positive right now. He he, he knows he's the greatest. He's, he's very, uh, shall we say, he's a little up himself at this moment in time. Um, he, he, he demanded to go first. You can see he's very excited. He, he's, he's, he likes this craft. He's been in it before. Nothing special for him. He's been to the moon and back. He's wonderful. So it's a standard sort of ascent profile. We, we lose that second component, the first stage there. It's, it's little parachutes opened if you didn't see, so it will be nicely recovered from the sea. We've got our booster stage here. Now, remember this uh, This will actually have less, probably less delta V on the top end than our previous craft. Uh, it's not carrying extra engine, for example. So this booster stage will probably make into orbit. And we saw in the last episode, we can bring those down pretty easily. They've got a, a, little, a little core built into them. So we can, even even if it's on a, in a proper orbit, we can actually turn it around, use field to deorbit it. Um, it's got parachutes on the bottom there. You can see they're going to stage at the same time, so they're armed. It's a really nice little reusable booster stage that I quite like. We don't even le lose part of the fairing because it stays attached, which I think is a really nice little addition to it. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see I overburned a bit. I want to try and keep the orbit quite low um, for this, ideally. Um, so we've released that. We're going to do our, a little circularization uh, and, and so forth here. Um, and this craft is pretty much ready for, for once that's happened, it's going to be ready for docking. Um, at this point, I hadn't decided which craft I was going to do the, the active maneuver with, which was going to be the active docking craft. And it, it will actually depend, normally it will depend on um, pretty much how much fuel they have once they're in orbit. Um, I am, I'm going to aim to use the one with the most fuel for this. If anybody saw my Back to Basics program uh, series, you will see that I had a slight issue with docking in the fact that first time I tried it, um, we docked to do craft. I underestimated, uh, overestimated fuel reserves and one of our crew got stuck. So Friendship 1 is done. Friendship 2, we're gonna, we don't need as much fuel. So we're gonna shorten that mid stage by taking a few fuel, fuel tanks, off, tanks off it. But again, we could do that in real life. I'm sure, you know, Kerbal's, Kerbal's detachable tanks. Um, and we're just going to launch it. Same craft, just we don't need as much fuel once we're in an orbit. So we launch up nicely, and this will actually go up much quicker because it's got less weight at the top there in that, that second stage. This first stage is going to give it more of a bump. Um, what we will expect is that that second stage will not make it to orbit at all. It's not going to be anywhere near it. So um, it, it will just automatically come back down, will be collected by... Um, by recovery programs and, and whatnot just just naturally so again we go up our first stage is really nice it's actually a really nice little workhorse for staged its parachutes open it detached it gets recovered wonderful we're going up our um <coughs> our second stage the shortened stage that we now have is going to take us up most of the way to orbit um in actual fact it's going to get us pretty much all the way there um 
ironically even that the, the shortening of it has, has not really impinged on that much we're going to have a lot of fuel left and this is actually where i start to think about potentially uh what fuel can we put in orbit and, and i have actually missed an opportunity here because we've taken a lot of fuel up to orbit and um brought it all back down potentially if this works so we're going to circularize and we have nakot in the pilot seat she is our first kerbal to have been in orbit but since then she's been overshadowed a little bit by sean she doesn't mind though she enjoys the ride sean's very much about himself she's very much about just you know the journey for kerbal she's she's selfless you know she's she's the poster child of, of the real kerbals um so she's gonna she's gonna put it into a circular orbit and it is at this point that i have decided that probably sean is going to be the one that i would like to do um the dockings with and i'm just checking yeah all of our boosters have, have been recovered safely they've been accounted for so i could i could have got either of them to do this but i think i think in the end you know it doesn't really matter if one doesn't as long as there's fuel on board for both freak turns it's not really a big issue so what we're doing we're going to go in for a rendezvous which means i am basically playing around with my maneuver nodes here to try and get a pl closest approach and you can see i i pull down i'm, I'm taking the craft that's f at the front and i'm, I'm basically gonna it's going slower so I'm going to pull its its orbit down. It's the Hoffman transfer. Pull its orbit down until it intersects the target orbit, and then I'm just going to make sure that I do that burn at the right point in its orbit, so that you see the little markers. So they're going to basically be near each other, and you can see um, I can use the next orbit round. You see that gets them nice and close, and I can just play around with this a little bit until they get as close as possible. I just want to get close enough so that I can, you know, station keep nearby. Uh, you can see there that's going to be what less than 30 meters per second i have got oodles oodles of delta v at this point um so i'm just going to go for it we've got a lot of i've got a lot of delta v in orbit in actual fact if i was being really clever at this point i'd have actually sacked off doing this task and gone somewhere else with both craft because there was a lot of fuel in orbit however i play around with the maneuver notes the aim here is to get that that distance down as, as little as possible because right now i'm getting huge bang for my book from fuel you know for for basically 30 meters per second i'm getting down to very very small distances however i could play around with this for for, for hours um there is a point at which you decide just to go for it um which is coming up very shortly um we do have a lot of fuel so i'm not really worried about much anyway Let's just get going. So we, we fiddle around with quite a long time and um, Nakot is going to do this. Nakot, I've decided Sean has more fuel and should be the one that I use, but I just have more confidence in Nakot. Don't tell Sean though, because it will it will affect his, 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 his ego a little bit and you've got to be a bit careful about that. So um, she's done a couple of orbits now just to get herself lined up. You can see she is currently ahead of, of Sean's orbit and there we go, just to bring it down. She's ahead, um, and by slowing herself down, she's gonna drop down into his orbit. And then we just watch around. We're just looking around now. We're on similar planes. We're just looking around to find that point where, where Sean is as close as possible. And then we're looking at the target speed, and we're gonna try and zero our target speed. We wanna try and keep station. And there we go. We're now only moving slightly, slightly uh, faster. And then we're going to just burn towards Sean. Now, this is not the most efficient way of doing it. Um, but the amount of fuel we've got, and in actual fact, the size of Kerbin, it doesn't really matter that much. Just shh, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so Nakot, uh, you know, like her great-great-grandmother before her, is going to do a docking, which is really nice. Um, so we burn towards, we then zero our velocity again uh, once we move a little bit closer and you can see here we come really just up into almost visual we can we were in visual range but you can almost get to a point where you can make out what's actually going on and um it is just i'm using the main engine here i could be using um rcs but we have got a lot of just uh, of liquid fuel so i'm just going to do that and then we just pull it in and it went too far so we need to just turn around um and at this point if you have got the level of your astronauts up to, to to a good level you can actually just get them to automatically face each other i don't have that i set the targets towards each other what i would normally do is have them face normal which is up and down because then the orientation as they go around the planet isn't an issue um, i didn't do that i was trying to be clever and quick and i just wanted to get it done and you know what there's a whole phrase about poor planning and 
so forth and the fact that if you don't plan properly you take longer well this is a perfect example of it so i orientated um scott to face nakot and the idea being you know i'll just fire nakot straight towards him and they'll dock straight away um Kerbin is a small planet you are close to it as such um relative orientation changes quite quickly um which is pretty much what happened here they start to drift a little bit also you can see on the nav ball i am i am pretty much going and what i'm trying to do is actually fit my prograde marker right into the target marker i want the two of those to be perfectly aligned that means that i am going to hit the target um, and that's the aim and you can see it's slightly off there and i'm thinking the magnetism of these uh, docking ports fine i'm looking from the side there i'm like oh okay i'll just nudge up at this point i should have stopped and checked the other angles i did not properly I think I've got it. I think I'm close. You'll notice I, I just need to edge up. Again, in reality, in not in reality, but really, if I was doing this again, I would go normal, anti-normal, and this docking would be a lot easier. These ships are actually really well balanced, and for some reason, we've now nuzzled into each other. So that's as close as you can actually get without docking. So so Nakot has just nudged Sean. I'm pretty sure Sean will be enjoying this because it's pointing out that Nakot is incapable of docking. Um, I'm, you can see he's laughing his head off there. He's like, yeah, you can't do anything. I'm so much better than you. Hey. Um, little does he know that he's now trying to wiggle himself around. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. I was wiggling, wiggling ends around. And you know what? I should have just gone with my normal approach, which is normal anti-normal docking. Um, I was, I was taking too much time to do it this way. I should have just, at this point here, I should just thrust, I just thrust forward as hard as possible and dock, but I didn't. Um, and then, uh, well, if you take too much time, what you end up getting is um, you, you do the same thing again. The definition of insanity. So Sean is really laughing at this point. Nako is, you can see she's smiling, but she's, uh, she feels her family name is being um, eroded, shall we say. She's thinking, you know what? My great great grandmother, she would have done this in, in five seconds. I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Now, I will point out this is the first time either of them have docked. So, you know, even the Gemini program, they took their time practicing and they, you know, there's a few, a few attempts and, and things like that. They did a, a rendezvous first before they even docked. Um, yeah, this, 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 this is in, in live and you can see I am just fighting it. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to force something and I should have just backed off and, and done it properly. So the other way to do it is to put them near each other and then just spin them around, which is what I did in the end <laughs> to get them to dock. So you put them right next to each other, zero at their velocity, and then just hope that rotating them around will pull them together. So we have a docking in orbit. We have completed the mission. Sean and Nakot have met up in orbit. Sean is probably feeling a quite superior right now because you know what? Um, Nakot messed that up badly. Um, Nakot's reputation is not looking good after that little thing. But we have our first sort of big structure in space. Now, being reusable as we are, this is going to be vital for us. We're going to need to do a lot of this in the future because we cannot launch big craft currently. We're going to have to put stuff together. So this is what I should have done. I should have actually had them orientated like this, normal. And then the docking would not have been impacted by the rotation around the planet because we're pretty much equatorial. We're going to stay in this orientation nice and easy. Um, obviously, we need to get out and do our beauty shots and things like that so they take their pictures there we go we do evas look at that they shake their hands whoop de do nakot and sean they're not really looking at each other because you know they don't like each other i think i think there's a lot of competition between them i think it's probably sean that's the major competition issue um nakot's loving it because she's been on eva sean's not impressed um Sean decides he is going to land first. He wants to take a date parade, you know, first docking. He wants to be finished. So he, he you know, ladies can go last in his mind. Oh, it might not even be ladies. It might not be sexist. It might just be that he's very selfish. So right now we're going to do our normal uh, our normal landing profile, which for this craft is, you know, pretty easy. We've got a lot of fuel on this. So I actually just start firing the engine um, because we have oodles and oodles of fuel um seriously so we've still got the fuel in the reserve tank we're down to less than a thousand meters per second um easy easy landing we're just going to slow ourselves down a little bit with the engine because we can we don't have to we, i i'm actually at this point became aware that i'm carrying extra weight because of we haven't burned the fuel so i was actually trying to get rid of the fuel um i should really get a mod that allows us to dump that so sean lands safely we'll recover that 
And then we come to a Nakot. Nakot coming down. Now, unlike her grandmother, are both of these crafts going to be able to come down straight away? Because in my previous series, uh, we had to leave one in orbit. So uh, she does have the fuel to do it. So she deorbits nice and easily. She's got loads of fuel. We did actually rebalance some of the fuel while we we're up in orbit, um, but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to take off a load of that speed. So she was doing over 2,000 meters per second, which we know she could survive, but no need to. Um, we pull it down and uh, we've got quite a lot of fuel left again in Nakot. So we're going a little bit faster, but you see the, the, the speed gets taken down nicely. Fire the engine a little bit. Parachutes deploy. We've still got a lot of fuel on board this craft. And we're going to go for a water landing. It's a nice little water landing for Nakot. Um, just off the coast and uh, here we go seven meters per second at touchdown and we're done so with that until next time have a great one